Hola clase, ¿cómo están hoy? ¿Bien? Bien? Bueno, bueno, hoy vamos a empezar con capítulo 2, Condiciones del Tiempo. Qué genial, ¿no? Ah, entonces, abren los libros a la página 17. I'm just kidding, I'm not doing a Spanish lesson. That was my hook for you guys, I feel like you're listening now. I am doing something, I'm doing something completely different, but it's for future teachers. Um, it is a hook that everyone can use on every single continent, and I love it for two reasons, because it's simple and because students get to use their cell phones, something that's forbidden, but they use them anyway, so why not use them for an educational purpose? So first, I'm going to follow the directions I'll have on D2L. I'm just going to follow them right now on myself just to see if they're good. So all you have to do is just have a projector like this and go to www. Polleverywhere.com. I don't know if anyone has heard of this. Has anyone done this before? Seen it? A couple people? Yeah, it's just really neat because it can be brought up from anything. Instant audience feedback. So you bring this up, you can set it up before class, you want to do this. You can make an account, but right now you don't even have to make an account that's great about it. You can just um, make one live. But for a class, I would, I would you know, have a have them saved and already ready. But so all you have to do is create your first poll. You uh, make a question, and for this class, I'm just going to say the question will be like, "Why do you want to become a teacher?" Just because it relates to this class. Teacher. Right. Be a teacher. Be a teacher. Be a teacher. So, and you can, uh, then you have that question. The next is the uh, answers. You can either do open-ended or multiple choice. I would definitely do multiple choice in a school setting because I would not want kids texting inappropriate things. <laughs> I just, I know that would happen, I guarantee yeah. So, you have your questions. You can make as many as you want. You can do true, false, simple, or just make as many as you want. So, I'll just make a couple here. Um, to inspire <laughs> students. Does anyone have any other suggestions just for now? Um, to share what they love. To share what they love, thank you. What they love. Power and respect in the community. Hot respect. <laughs> uh, I, okay. Well, <laughs> respect. Yeah, that's okay. I, I would try this. Um, I would say, let's see, working with you, you know? I, okay. Any others? And then I, I usually just do like um, other, just because like you can't have multiple. So like you, then you have your question, you have your answers. And then you just click create. And it should show up. Uh oh. Yeah. So then you would have your students take out your phones and just, you know, instruct them that like, you know, normally we wouldn't do this just for this today. We're going to take out our phones and I would suggest not every student's going to have a phone. I would say if you have a partner you, near to you that has a phone, ask them to share, uh, text them your answer or have, like, tell your question to someone else next to you or even offer your phone. But all you have to do is text a code to 22333. That's what you're sending to. So 22333. And then you text these numbers, and it should be live. So we can all do that right now. So I want to know, why do you want to be a teacher? Could you text? Um, yeah, can you send it? You text that code. Could there be multiple? Um, Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is so cool. Could there be multiple entries? Like I, I texted to inspire students. If I wanted to, could I text? Oh yeah, you can do both. Yeah. yeah, You can do two texts. I think you'd have to do two separate tests, but I would just ask to like do one for now. So we got 50-50. It shows up the percentage. Once everyone does, we got 10 results. So 
Well, but you know, as of this room, a lot of people want to inspire students, which is the reason I want to, because I was inspired by my teachers, oh. uh, to share what they love, their content area, their, they love their content area, that's great. So then you could go around, like I would just go around and be like, okay, so does anyone want to explain their answer? So like, who, who said other? Why would you do, what, what is your explanation? I want to be in ESL teacher to travel. To travel? No. <laughs> exactly, you get to travel the world, teach English in other countries. Anyone else have an other? Well, like, so that's what you do in the class. And then you can start a discussion. In my Spanish class, I would, I don't know, first day of Spanish, I would say, why Why do you want to take Spanish? And I would have lists, and I would do this. I would then talk about it. And then after that, I would go into the benefits of learning a second language. Yeah? Do you know what you said? I'm going back to what you said about texting, having your, your friend text your answer for Yeah. You. It won't let you really let uh, you Okay, well, thanks. I guess that would not work then. Mm -hmm. that, that, I didn't even know that, so I guess you can only text them once per. So then, if someone didn't have a cell phone, I would just have them like, can you want to share your answer with everyone? You know, I just don't want, I, I want to try and include everyone. I know it's not naturally including everyone, but I, I just think it's fun because lots of students have cell phones on them. It's, it's, it's something that's happening technology in the school. I just like implementing that. Um, I could all, you could also use this for an icebreaker have just get to know you question multiple. You could also have it to review in units. I think it could be a hook, icebreaker, and instructional strategy. Um, and it's just simple and easy. I love implementing technology in the classroom. That is what I, that is my hook for all of you to learn. I'll put it on D12. Cool. I was wondering also if you're in a computer lab, um, if students don't because to kind of equal the playing field yep. for all students, I wonder if there's some similar app where everyone from their computer could there, see there, there are. There are. I, I haven't looked into it. That you can you can tweet answers in, which would be so you could use a computer, go on your Twitter and tweet it in, and then you can also put it in through a website. Mm -hmm. There are three ways, but you can look at it on the page. It's really simple.